I'm sorry, Mrs. Quagmire, but my sentence stands. Twenty years. Oh, my God. Oh, don't think of it as twenty years. Think of it as two ten-year-olds, you sick freak. You need to seek forgiveness. You need to kneel before Jesus. Oh, he's gonna be kneeling in front of a lot of guys, but I doubt he'll catch their names. Remember, he is inside you all the time. Oh, now she's just setting me up, right? Where do you get off? Pretty much everywhere, I hear. <laughs> Fat man's right, they're making this easy. Why are you, of all people, defending a religious nut? Aren't you an atheist? Yeah, it's crazy. You can think about that while you're in jail. Did you hear about your ex-husband yet? He had a, uh, procedure. Really gonna miss all you guys. And I'll think of you whenever I choke on a link sausage. Take care, buddy. Woo! Yeah! Fresh air! Freedom! I... I just can't take it. I discovered my wife's been cheating on me for a while. And I just... I can't live like this. I have to kill myself. Doesn't it make more sense to kill her? Okay, Brian, the key to these things is to find a good position to sit on the ground. Yeah, cool. I got that blanket from your trunk. Oh, yeah, the old scratchy trunk blanket. Bring it, use it once, and then put it back in the trunk for the rest of your life. Oh, yeah. Okay, this is already hurting my hip. We could probably just stand. No, no, we got the blanket. All right, let's try sideways on the elbow. Ow! No, that hurts. Scratchy blanket. Okay, all the way back. Oh, flat back, craning to look up. Terrible. Ugh. Balls of feet butt hover like a Chinese guy. Oh, all right. Standing it is. Damn it! Get out! I need this car! What are you, a cop? No! Jesus is about to have sex with my wife! Oh, then here! Take it! I need this car! So do I! Jesus Christ is about to have sex with my wife! Lenny Kravitz is about to have sex with my daughter! Oh! Oh my God! No, here, take the car! Take the car! Kid, I need that toboggan! Jesus Christ is gonna have sex with my wife! Um, okay? What's in your pockets? A rabbit's foot, a pen knife, a bottle cap, a compass? All of it, all of it. This thing on? Yes. It's not making any noise. It's a hybrid. Trust me, it's on. No, it's not. See? <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> Peter, what the hell? You chose a turkey over me? I almost died! I swear to God, I thought dogs could breathe underwater. If you want, I can take you as far as the bus station. You can? Oh, thank you so much. Oh, that is the nicest thing anyone's done for me since my kids gave me that Father's Day gift. Katai! Perfect. It's from all of us. Mr. Griffin, I understand you're here to speak on Mr. Quagmire's behalf. According to Game of Thrones, if the girl has had her blood, she is good to go. Has the girl had her blood? Answer the question. She was underage. However, Mr. Quagmire was born on February 29th. Ergo, he's only 12. Ergo, the girl raped him. Argo, Ben Affleck. Hi there, folks. Hand over the turkey. What? I can't go back to my wife without a turkey. Bet that thing's not even loaded. You just used your last bullet. <laughs> Running on empty now. <laughs> Brian, give him the turkey. Brain tumor? How is that possible? As a father in a hospital getting bad news, I am going to sadly slide down the wall and take my hat off. I forgot the hat. And although I will never get over the pain of what you did to my son, I forgive you. Because I believe you are sick and in need of help. This is the Office of City Planning. You requested a variance to build a hot tub off your garage? Did I get it? No. I will kill your son! Your son is dead! It's a boy, Mrs. Quagmire. Ah, that's wonderful. How do you feel? Horny. Really horny. Could you put him back so I can push him out again? I was born nine times that day. The most important thing is you getting better. Stewie? Stewie, help Mommy out and just open the latch, huh? Stewie? 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 Stew. 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 Stewie? 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 Noise canceling on. All right, guys, let's pay the check and get out of here. 
Happy birthday to you. You guys. Aren't you going to blow out your candles, Peter? Mom, I think something's wrong with Dad. Oh, my God. Help! This happens here at Bennigan's all the time. It's best to just move on. We're going to take you on a special dream trip to help you pass your history test. Then there's so much to learn. For example, did you know that Jesus didn't really die on the cross? What was the cause of death? Cocaine and severe trauma to the colon. Yeah, I'm going to need to see those forms. I couldn't do it. What? I'm sorry, Lois. Think about it. Isn't this holiday about being with people you love? I mean, does it really matter what we eat? Lois, can the turkey please join us for dinner? Not as the meal, but as our guest. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. <laughs> the man of the house killed the turkey for Thanksgiving. Looks like we're having turkey after all. <laughs> Four years later, me and Lois divorced and Stewie died. Gobble, gobble. Now go wow your guests with conversation. Hi, Grandma. I got some down there hair now. Wanna see? Uh, <laughs> I should check if your mother needs help in the kitchen. Sometimes I pluck them because I deserve pain. Cut! No! Stop! That's a thousand out of a possible 2,400. That's the worst score in my class. What? Damn it. Why did I ever think you were smart? <laughs> Brian's stupid! I must alert the townsfolk! Yeah! Our townsfolk! Brian! Uh, damn, what was it? Brian... Brian goes to college? No. Brian gets another book published? Maybe that's it! Tell all that Brian's getting another book published! Where are you off to? Actually, I met a photographer at Stewie's school yesterday, and he wants me to model for him. Lois, please send these back to the factory. I believe they're defective. Oh, my God, Peter, did you just rip your own ears off? It was the easiest way to let her know the news was ridiculous. Now, I'm going to help you study by nailing your door shut. That way, you'll have no choice but to hit the books. Oh, crap, I left my phone in there. Dad, it looks like some girl sent you a picture of her privates. Oh, crap, Lois, I don't have the phone. Stop sending pictures. I already sent four more. Put down the phone. Don't look at those. Wait a minute, that's both her hands. Who the hell is taking the pictures? And before you judge your mother, you did most of that damage. Everyone, move over. We're getting on this boat. Please, take my baby! Yeah, I'm sorry. If I take your baby, I'm gonna have to take everyone's baby. Can you believe that woman? Putting me on the spot in front of everyone. Remember, Brian's probably very self-conscious about how he looks, so let's try to be supportive. My God, you look like one of those animals. You know, with the one that... Which one does the... That sound? That... Ah, crap, you know which one I mean. Great, here comes that couple with the adult disabled kid. We really want to thank you, God, for testing us. It's been such a blessing. Can't wait to see what that bigger plan is. Well, I can't tell you that, but the good news is this little guy's gonna make it to 74. Oh, yeah. Oh, God, this is embarrassing. I'm so sorry. It's been like 500 years. Ah, oh, this is your big moment, and I'm ruining it. Ah, <laughs> uh, don't feel so good. <laughs> Ew! Ryan, go outside. Keep guard for Michael Myers. Boy, Peter, seems like that obedience school did wonders for Brian. Oh, yeah, it's great. He'll do anything I tell him to now. Maybe I should send Bonnie. <laughs> oh, oh, my. <laughs> All right, somebody say something else. No, you need to know what you did. Crashing this plane into the ultimate symbol of American materialism, Las Vegas. You know, I've lost a ton in Vegas, but I never thought I'd lose my life there. You know, you are seriously funny, man. I know I crap on you a lot, but sometimes when I'm driving, I think about stuff you say and I laugh. Thank you, Peter. No, thank you. What the hell? Hey, Chris, get in here! This is impossible, right? All of Meg's farts here in this box? I would think that's impossible. Yeah, right? That's impossible. 
Is this the box? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's impossible. I know, it's impossible, right? Okay, all right, I'm opening it. Unless whoever sent it was magic. Oh, well, now that's interesting.